Okay, in this question, the total cost involved is equal to the fixed cost plus the total variable cost. Total variable cost is nothing but the total number of people multiplied by the variable cost per head. So if you are talking about average expense, average expense will be nothing but T by N is equal to F by N plus B. Whenever there are different sets of people staying in the boarding house, the difference in the average expense would only come because of the fact that F by N is changing. So let's take the first case. When there were 25 boarders, the average expense per head happened to be 700. So left hand side is 700. Let me call this F by N as X plus the variable cost is B. And they have, when there are 50, the, this is 600. Whereas what will happen to now F by N? Because the total number of people is doubling, this must now become X by 2 plus B. So from this, the difference of 100 rupees that we see here is equal to the difference x by 2. So x minus x by 2 is equal to 100, from which we will get x is equal to 200. We will use this information to find out what would happen if there were 100 people staying in the boarding house. So we need to find out this value, the variable cost or the total cost per head. Now, what would we have on the right hand side? Instead of x, it will now become x by 4 and the variable cost will remain as b. Now we already know that x is equal to 200, so x by 4 will actually be now 50. Which implies the difference with the case where there were 25 people, the difference is a difference of rupees 150. Hence, initially if the average expense per head was 700, finally, in the case of 100 boarders, the average expense per head would be 550. Hence, the appropriate answer is A.